What's up, amigos? Today we're looking at the aerodynamics of a tarantula. So we have some X planes downstream here. And surprisingly, the wake is very symmetrical. So you can see, even though their legs are obviously not symmetrical, they curve down and at an angle, it doesn't have too much of an effect of the wake. But also, the body is fairly symmetrical about the, um, the Z axis. So that makes the wake quite symmetrical as well. So that means that the lift is actually almost nothing. So this produces 0 0.0022. For the lift coefficient, which means that it's almost nothing is within the error, definitely. And this is a cool Y plane going halfway through the tarantula. And you see this really nice crisp on karma street occurring. Like it's it's almost there's almost no, no noise to it. It's just a nice crisp fluctuation from one to the other. And they propagate downstream and then they break down obviously three dimensional um, three dimensionally as well. But that's because the body is fairly uneventful, like it's just like a, a an abdomen plus a little sack at the back and that's a fairly streamlined well not a streamlined body but a fairly um similar geometry the entire way along these x-axis so now we have a y plane on the edge so where the feet come down or the, the legs come down and there's pressure on the feet and the wake is still fairly large here even though we are quite away from away from the spider from the body of it so the drag coefficient is about 0 0.29 which is pretty decent considering that this is fairly bluff but I'm guessing that because this wake is so large around the feet, it is much greater than what it could be. If we made these feet like splayed out a little bit more and in line, perhaps more, that could drop the coefficient by about five or ten percent. So this Z plane goes through like the midsection of the spider, and the wake is really cool. Like look how wide it is, but then it shrinks very. Uh, soon, like only maybe two tarantula lengths downstream, and we already have pretty much no blue wake, so it gets sucked up quite quickly. So that means that this wake is not nearly as bad as what we might think if we look zoomed up straight into the spider. That's why it's good to look at the entire wake to get a better appreciation of it. So that's it for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and if you want to see any other animals tested let us know and if you want to get better at safety yourself and or theory check out the links in the description for courses that we put on and if you want to make your experiments two to accurate check out the atmosphere hawk link in the description it's an instrument we make and i'll see you in the next simulation peace out amigos